Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss the first of the tolerances of profile. And there are two of those here. These are tolerances of profile. And today, what we're going to be discussing in this video is the profile of a line tolerance. And it's this one right here. Now, before we begin discussing the tolerance in detail, we're going to introduce uh, one concept that we haven't covered yet, and that is the, co the concept of a basic dimension. Okay. Now, a basic dimension <coughs> is it's a numerical value which is used to describe the theoretically exact size or profile orientation okay um, so we're gonna just say that's the theoretic theoretical exact dimension <coughs> and that is we're calling that's called a basic dimension okay we're covering that now and we're going to cover that in more detail later as we get into more complex dimensioning schemes but our part today is an airfoil blade okay in this in this case this airfoil it's a blade that's mounted to a uh, or attached to a mounting block of some sort down here and on the drawing it, we would see something like this here we have a top view of our blade okay our mounting block is up here here's the actual blade length and we have an end view that kind of shows the tip of the blade here and you can sort of see where the root of the blade is connected connects to the mounting block and then we have two sections that are cut here. Now typically this surface for a, a complex three-dimensional surface part like this it would be defined by some sort of surface data and that could be um, a table of, of points on the drawing. Uh, more commonly today it's just going to be a CAD file, a CAD model. Um, or it could be a data file of points, you know, a, a spreadsheet file, something of that sort. But in any case, there's going to be a series of mathematical data that are going to define points on this surface, and they define the basic surface. So the note here on the drawing says that this airfoil surface is to be per, per the supplied basic data, and the important word there is basic. So <clears throat> before we get into tolerancing, we're assuming that the, that the supplied data is the exact per our definition of basic, it's the theoretical exact dimension of each point that defines this surface. So once we have established a theoretically exact definition of this surface, we can then talk about tolerance. So in this case, we have on our drawing a tolerance profile of a tolerance in our feature control frame here, or sorry, profile of a line, and the tolerance value of 20 thousandths of an inch. And we're going to look at the diagram here. So here's an enlarged view of that cross section, which shows the our airfoil here, and is the white line. And in these red lines, what we're what we're looking at are is the tolerant zone as defined by these two profiles, the two red profiles. And unless otherwise specified, the 20 thousandths of an inch tolerance is considered to be bilateral, meaning half of it is on one side of the true basic profile and half of it is on the other side. Okay? So you have an uh, equal, the tolerance is split equally about the true profile. So this would be 20 thousandths of an inch total, right? 10 thousandths per side. So that tolerance of 20 thousandths of an inch for the profile of the line is saying that at any cross section that we were to cut, 
on this blade, the resulting profile at that section would have to lie within this 20 thousandths of an inch wide tolerance zone. And that tolerance zone is split equally, 10 thousandths per side of the true profile. Okay? Now, a profile of a line tolerance can be defined as a unilateral tolerance. And if you if you saw the video on basic or on general tolerancing, you remember the term unilateral means that the tolerance goes one way. So in this case, if we saw this on the drawing, what this would be saying is that we still have a 20 thousandths of an inch tolerance, but the tolerance is all in the direction of the outside of the basic profile. Right? So the tolerance zone would still be 20 thousandths of an inch, but it's all on one side of the basic profile. Okay, so the, the actual manufactured blade could fall anywhere within here. So it could be larger than the basic profile, but it could not be smaller at any point. And again, that's sections taken along the length of that blade. Now, <clears throat> we have not discussed too much about datums, but we're going to apply them in detail for the first time. Now, we talked about, about datums and the use of datum frames in the uh, general GD&T video, but if we go back up to our, our drawing, we'll see that uh, there are three datum frames on this drawing, and we're going to be concerned with two of them here, datum A and datum B. And datum A is the bottom surface of that root end block or mounting block. And datum B is the left edge surface. Okay? So that's this bottom surface here is datum A. And datum B is this, oops, datum B is this surface here left edge. Well, what this profile tolerance here is telling us, it's a profile of a line still, and but it's there's an added control here in that there are two datum reference frames attached to the profile tolerance. Alright, so we've got a profile of a line within 20 thousandths of an inch, but that's reference to datum A and datum B. So how does that differ from the previous application of this tolerance? Well, in this case, if we were to superimpose the our root block, our mounting block that was part of this blade, we're going to show that in the background of this section. And this was our datum B here, right? And this was our datum A. What this tolerance is telling us is that all the measure, all the measurements, when we measure this profile, have to be based on this datum being an origin for our measurements. Okay, so in our data then, most likely, uh, although the data could come from any origin, we would have to measure it from datum B or datum A and datum B. So assuming that the points on this profile, the numerical points that define this profile, they were, assuming they were measurements coming from B datum plane, series of measurements that would define this profile, right? Uh, and the same thing in the vertical direction, they would come from the A datum. Okay. <clears throat> well, now this tolerance is controlling the orientation of this actual airfoil shape 
and the position of this shape as well as the size. So whereas in this example here, these two examples, th this tolerance was only concerned with this with the shape of the actual feature and giving us this tolerance of twenty thousandths of an inch. When we add the datum control to it, we are now controlling both the shape and the position and orientation as it relates to this edge of the block and this edge of the block. Okay? So the shape of the airfoil could be perfect, but if its distance relative to datum A, if we're off, then it could be out of tolerance even though the shape was perfect and the same relative to datum B. Okay? So I'm not going to get into any more detail than that, but I think that should explain it, and we will discuss uh, the concept further in later videos. Now, the last concept we're going to talk about in this video, here we have a com what's called a composite feature control frame. Okay. Now, in this case, there's two different tolerances, and we're going to use the two concepts that we just talked about, but they're both being applied in one dimension here. So the first one, we'll look at the lower one first. Now both of these are connected to the profile of a line uh, frame. So the first tolerance is 10 thousandths of an inch here. What that's saying is that the actual shape of this blade cross section must be within a 10 thousandths of an inch profile tolerance and that's controlling the shape of that only irrespective of position or orientation but there's an additional tolerance and typically it will look like this where this one will be a, gr a larger tolerance and that tolerance is saying that you have a 20 thousandths profile of a line relative to datum A which was the bottom of the block here and datum B Okay, so draw the block again, and this was datum B here, and this was datum A. So it, in this way, the draftsman is indicating us to that we have a ten thousandths limit on the tolerance of the profile, not relative to any other feature of the part. Then we have a twenty thousandths tolerance of the profile relative to datum A and datum B. Okay? So depending on the manufacturing process, etc., um, you, know, you could have a uh, process that produces a perfectly shaped profile, but uh, and it's well within the ten thousandths of an inch. But it does, if it doesn't locate it very accurately, it could be out of tolerance relative to the two datums A and B. Okay, so that's why both of these would would possibly be applied. And that's going to be it for our discussion on the profile of a line. Next will be profile of a surface.